Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit today. It has taken me a minute, but I have finally sat down to film 10 fall palettes in my collection. Honestly, I really wanted to do 20, so there might be a part two. I just feel like who would have an issue looking at eyeshadow palettes? You know what I'm saying? Like, Anyway, if you wanna see 10 of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm loving right now for the fall season, even though I kinda of don't believe in seasons for makeup, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. If makeup is your therapy and it makes you happy and you especially love eyeshadow like I do, definitely consider joining the community. I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Fall palettes, good gracious. Here we go, we're gonna go with 10 right now, as I said. Okay, these are not gonna be in any order, but I love talking about eyeshadow, so let's get into it. We're gonna start with a palette that I have not used yet. It is an old palette, but it is new to me. This is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. This is number one. Now this is the old Hocus Pocus palette because that new one was not Hocus Pocusing it for me. I don't know what was happening. I don't know what they thought was going on. Here's my thing. The reason that I got this palette was because so many people liked it and then it was not available anymore. So all they needed to do was go ahead and just re-release the original Hocus Pocus collection, not that other new one. I don't know what they were trying to do. I'm, it was just too much of um, not enough. So I have not touched this palette, but this one definitely gives me fall vibes. So let me just backtrack real fast. When I think of palettes that give me fall vibes, I think of, I think of a lot. Browns, oranges, cranberry, I think cherry color. That's like the berry color. Leaves changing, gold, stuff like that. This palette has all of that. This is, as I said, the original ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. I have not touched it yet, but I will very soon. Very cute. When this came back, I was like, I'm definitely getting this. I got some liners and a lipstick to go with it. Can't wait to do some looks. Look how cute, y'all. Like the packaging in the new one. What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't understand, like just re-release what was good. You don't even have to add anything to it. People will buy it. Some people will rebuy it, like they will. For palette number two, we're gonna go ahead with Supreme Bronze by Artist Couture. Did not film this because I don't know why, but this is a great palette, y'all. Definitely gives me those fall vibes. What I really enjoy about this palette is it leans more warm, but there's a little bit of cool to it, but it doesn't look like it right now. But I will say, okay, from right here, this top row to me is cool, cooler. And then the rest of the palette is warm. I love this matte orange here. It just gives me just some nice, you know, fall vibes, like at the pumpkin patch. Maybe this palette was like 45 bucks. I like it. This was my first try with Artist Couture. I know many, many people loved the Supreme Nudes palette. I don't have that. I don't think I'll get that, even though I like it, but I just can't. I can't do it all. It's not happening. Let's move on. I'm not only can do 10 palettes. Like who made that rule? Not me. Listen, do not talk to me. Palette number three, 27 by Melt Cosmetics. I don't care. I got this during my first order from Beauty Bay and it was 20% off. Hold on. I know it's not almost as a makeup, but that is a mixture of Sutter Home Sweet Red and Reverse Tremeter because I can't do the Sutter Home Sweet Red anymore because I'm low carb really low carb not that y'all asked okay I, I think i did this video last year about fall palettes and i know my melt palette of choice would have been rust because y'all know rust is the bee's knees okay my friend monica always says the bee's knees <laughs> what does that even mean the bee's knees Okay, anyway, here's what I enjoy about 27. This palette is warm yet cool. 
I'm still learning how to decipher warm and cool. I just love this palette. It just makes me think of leaves, like transitioning leaves, those reds and oranges and then the browns. So the quality of this palette is really, really nice. Melt would probably be in one of my top five favorite brands, not top five favorite formulas, only because it's just hard. It's just so hard to, that's a whole separate video but the formulas that Melt comes out with are not always consistent, but when they're good or when they're great, they're great, you know? And the Rust palette, which I'm, if I do a volume two or a, a second video, the Melt, the Rust palette is gonna have to be in it because that's one of my top 10 favorite palettes. Hey, but what's up? Tell me what you need. You can just tell me, I'm not, you don't know. Come back when you remember. This is a great one. And here's the thing, like I have been buying a lot of old makeup because a lot of the new stuff is like, I don't know what people are doing. So I might as well just go with what we already know is tried and true. I really like this palette a lot. Do I like it better than Rust? I might, I might like it better than Rust. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta think about that. Rust will probably be in, in part two if there is one. Okay. All right, you guys. Palette number four is a new one. This is the Red Dragon Palette by Judy and Odin's Cosmetics. The Slept On Palette. I'm just saying. Yo, if this doesn't say fall, then what does? I'm loving all of the shades, and I did do a whole review on this collection and a look with this palette and I cannot wait to do more, but you've got the browns, the bright reds, the orange, you know, you've got gold. It's just very fall and then you've got a little green there. I think this is a great palette for fall if you like these types of vibes. Now, again, I don't believe there are any rules to makeup and I think that you should wear what you want when you want, but when I think of fall, and what gives me like that type of feeling, that's what I'm sharing with y'all. So palette number five is Haunted Europe by Nomad Cosmetics. Ooh, y'all, this palette is so good. I would even say that this is my favorite Nomad Cosmetics palette. There's 18 shades and you can get berry tone looks, you can get your golds and your bronzes, and then there's some little cool shades in here too. This is a great palette, honestly. And this palette is an all year round palette. That reminds me of a line in Baby Boy where, I don't know if y'all know, cause it's been a while since I've talked about that movie, Baby Boy, but where he was selling the, um, the dresses at the barbershop and he was like this is an all-purpose dress <laughs> he was like i don't know he said something like you wear this to work and then you go right to happy hour like this is an all-purpose palette yeah that wasn't all-purpose <laughs> but it is it's an all-purpose palette they really did did it with this palette i'm sorry i got distracted by baby boy but now i know there was a pre-order for this I'm not sure if it's still open. I do have a code that's for his face. And um, it's not like, I don't get any money from it, but it will take 10% off. So use that, please. We need to save money because it's a holiday, even though I don't know what that's gonna entail. Don't know if I'm excited. Palette number six is one of my more recent purchases. It is the Wilderness Palette by Beauty Bay. This was my first Beauty Bay purchase and loving just, all of everything that's here. Now, when I think about the fall vibes, I would probably think about everything but this top row here. But you know, when you think about, huh? The blankets over there. Hold on, make sure nobody can see. Go ahead, go. No, no one, I don't, I know what to do. Palette's in the way. I'm not sure where I left off, but what I was trying to say, if I didn't, is that Degree. It's like a transition, like you got your your summer leaves, then they, you know, they start to turn. And I really think this is a great palette, super affordable, and a very great 
great formula. I do have the Age of Opulence palette, the one that looks like Book of Magic. I don't have Book of Magic, so um, I have that. So that'll be coming soon, but yes, Wilderness. I think that's number six. Okay, number seven. We're gonna go with the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This will always and forever be a very special palette to me because it was the first Natasha Denona palette I bought. It's just so warm and crisp. You know what I mean? Like this is so great. Now mine is reorganized. I may reorganize it back because I don't, I don't know if I care for this, but I do love this palette. I still love it. It performs great. I know that a lot of people feel like, hey, I'm getting the same kind of looks with this palette, but I kind of like that. I don't like that for all palettes, but when you're in a rush, if you need to be somewhere in a jiffy and you don't want to be thinking about what's going to look right, I think all of these shades together make a great look. And um, they may be monochromatic or similar, and that's okay that's okay looking at the way i supposedly reorganized this here's what i think i did i think what i did was i put all the mats here which were six of them and then the other nine were the shimmers so i was just looking at playing with like taking you know a light mat a deeper mat and a shimmer i think that was the actual plan natasha denona's mats are really really good so I know these three are similar and I am noticing that about Natasha Denona. Like we may not need all of that. However, these three particular shades are shades that will show up on me for transition shades. So these are good for me, but I know these don't work for everybody. I, I really, really like this one a lot. Mm, I do. All right, you guys, we are on number eight. So this is the Laura palette by Alien Cosmetics. So Alien Cosmetics is going to be going through a rebranding. And I think she said that on her stories. So the only thing that's going to be available is their new palette, which is the Witching Hour. And I think that's available now. But the Laura palette was a staple for a while. They had several restocks and yes, let's just look at it. If you do decide you wanna try Alien Cosmetics, my code is frizzface and you'll save 10% because I'm all about the saving. Now, now here is the Lore palette. I think this palette is really cute. It's just really unique, you know what I'm saying? You've got four mattes and five shimmers. I really like the mattes that were chosen for this palette and I think these mattes alone would definitely give you some fall, some fall vibes. This is showing you quickly. Like those scream fall to me. And I love being able to complement these mattes with these beautiful shimmers. Some are duochrome, some are a bit sheer, and uh, you can kind of manipulate the shimmers how you want to make them do what you want. You know what I'm saying? Use what you got. Oh, let me stop. I definitely like this one. It just reminds me of fall. So now we're at number nine. Number nine goes to Tasha, the Metropolis palette. Now what you'll notice is that I redid my Metropolis palette, thinking about switching these two columns. There is a shade in here that is not in the original Metropolis, and I think it's this one. I think I took this from Glam because I dismantled that palette. And the reason that I did that is because there was another blue and when I tried them out on the eyes, they look the same. So I was like, well, I'd rather have like a cool tone brown to go with the cool tone shimmer. If you look at Metropolis, you know, for me, it definitely screams fall, especially this area right here. It's a perfect, representation of changing leaves and what fall brings. I have had people ask me to do a video on Metropolis and I think I'm going to. I'll be honest, like I really do like Natasha Denona's formula. I think that, I think she's my number two when I think about my eyeshadow ranking video that I did. It might need to be old inside though. 
Okay, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I know that $129 is not cheap. I do like having the variety of textures and shades, the 28 shades, and the fact that a lot of them do go together make the palette less overwhelming, but buying it as it is and the way it looks in the pan, I'm like, no, I can't, I can't do it. It's taken me a year to do that and realize that's why I'm not using it. So that's that. And last but not least, is the palette that I have on my eyes. The Loki palette by Notoriously Morbid. Oh my goodness. Not sure if you can see, but there is a multi-chrome. There's some shimmers, some mattes, let's see. There are some shimmers with duochrome flakes. I think you can see it here now. There's a pressed flaky. It's a really good palette. And that's the palette that I use to create these two looks i was just trying to make one a little more subtle and one a little more dramatic but it's awesome like it is really a nice palette this loki collection is going to be released on notoriously morbid's website on friday october 22nd at 1 p.m eastern standard time now i do have a code is beauty and the frizz 15 in case you do see the loki video and like these shades but let me just show y'all just one shade the shade is called glorious purpose so that's the shade with the light on but you can really see that color shift with the light off Mmm, so pretty. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today, talking about some fall vibes and fall palettes. I probably will have a part two because I can think of another 10 that would be great that you probably already have in your collection or something similar. So thank you again. I really enjoy this and have the best time talking about eyeshadow palettes so much. Until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.